there was a great storm of wind, and it was it was so great it almost killed him. He rebuked the wind. He's not afraid of the wind. Nope. Then he rebukes the sea and says, Peace be still, and the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. There's a, we talked about this earlier. There's a calm before the storm. There's a calm through the storm if you have Christ. Mm -hmm. And there's a calm after the storm. America may be going through a storm right now, and it, you, you walk out and you look at the streets, and it's like, everybody, where's everybody at? Oh, they're in Walmart, arguing over paper towels. Oh, toilet paper. Oh, toilet paper. <laughs> I can't tell you how many people this week have said, why, are, why is everybody buying toilet paper? Why is everybody buying toilet paper? I'll tell you why. Because their nose is not in the Bible. They're afraid of the storm. They're afraid of the wind. They're not afraid of God. Their heart is in the wrong place. And when they see that news anchor say, oh no, we're running out of toilet paper. Everybody's out buying toilet paper. Oh, oh I got to go buy toilet paper right now. Why? We have some. Oh, we got to get it. <laughs> okay, look, hey, being sanitary is important, but the power of fear, the devastating power of fear is why people are out buying toilet paper right now. Are they getting charcoal and canned beans? No. Boy, they got some teepee, right? We said earlier, you know, we went into Costco and of course all the toilet paper's gone except for the John Wayne toilet paper. You know what I'm talking about? John Wayne toilet paper? It's rough, it's tough, it doesn't take stuff from nobody. Yeah. You know the stuff we're talking about. Nobody wanted that. They're buying the real super soft stuff, yeah. right? Well, that's, that's why that's, that's how America is. We're super soft. We're real delicate. We're a snowflake generation of Christians that are not seeking the face of the Lord. We're more afraid of losing toilet paper or internet or phone service than being judged by God for the wickedness that's in our country. 